For more on this story, Clovis Casali joins us on set. Clovis, uh, reporter for France 24. You just got back from Dakar. You yesterday saw those morning. protests yesterday morning. You saw those protests uh, firsthand. Um, this constitutional uh, council uh, decision, is it a victory for the opposition? Well, clearly, uh, those demonstrators you saw on the streets, on the footage we, we showed, uh, were saying, we won the election on due date, that's February 25th. But behind the scenes, when we were speaking with opposition leaders, they were telling us, we know it's not feasible. There's too little time before February 25th. What's important is the date of April 2nd. April 2nd is when Macky Sall's term finishes. Mm -hmm. And now the Constitutional Council is saying, you can't stay in office after that date. You have to leave. And that's the key date, really. So for the opposition, yes, it is a sweet victory. Yes, uh, the Constitutional Council, against all against all odds, maybe some will say, is uh, deciding that Macky Sall's decision to postpone the presidential election is wrong. When you ask Macky Sall's uh, side uh, about this postponement, he says, we didn't postpone it. It's the National Assembly with the help of the PDS opposition party. It's all very technical, but at the end of the day, it was President Macky Sall who believed there were too many irregularities, too many ac accusations of corruption. Basically, the situation would not allow for the presidential election to take place on due date because the results would be contested. Those demonstrations uh, that turned violent, remember, a few months ago, people died on the streets of Dakar and across the country in these uh, demonstrations. The pictures you're seeing now, uh, we filmed them on the streets of Dakar, on those same streets, in that area, in the side streets around Place uh, de la Nation, Nation Square. One man got killed, died from a bullet. Uh, and those uh, clashes were extremely uh, violent. You can see on those pictures angry uh, youths uh, setting uh, tires on fire, uh, setting up little roadblocks. But there were also, not just angry youths, also, uh, for instance, a civil servant, retired, who we met and who explained very clearly the situation. Let's take a listen. What we are simply is that what we are demanding is simple, to be able to go out to the polls on the due date as stated in the Constitution of Senegal. Nothing more, nothing less. We are here on the streets to defend our people and our nation's best interest. That's it. We also believe that our right to demonstrate is written in our Constitution, so we came out today so we can be heard. So Mikey Sal's decision to postpone these elections came from a mistrust of the electoral process, uh, at least the way that it is right now, uh, if I understand correctly. Is he under pressure now uh, that this decision has been made? Well, he is, and he was uh, until uh, the last few weeks, uh, the last few days, when uh, the international community was putting pressure on him. Uh, France, the European Union, saying, you need to call elections as quickly as possible. The U.S. going even further, uh, saying, you have to allow people to take to the streets. That's what democracy is all about. Senegal, an example, a beacon, if you will, of stability in uh, West Africa. Uh, and that's why this was unprecedented. That's why all eyes was, were on Senegal and on President Macky Sall. Macky Sall, we knew, was going to leave office. Well, at least that's what he was saying. That's what his entourage was saying, that Macky Sall was too old to be a dictator, to become a dictator, and that all he wanted was the stability of the country to make sure that a presidential election result would not be contested by opposition parties. That was the argument. Now, uh, he's leaving on a very bitter note, um, if he does respect the uh, decision of the Constitutional Council, because remember, a few days ago, he gave an interview to the Associated Press, asked by a journalist, will you respect the decision of the Constitutional Council? He did not give a clear answer. He said it's too early to say uh, and to talk about that kind of prospect. So we've got to hear now from the president himself, see what he will say. But presumably he can't uh, um, deny what the Constitutional Council has decided. Otherwise, it would clearly be a constitutional uh, coup. So we are looking at elections, presidential elections, finally taking place in the next few weeks. Remember, you need at least three weeks of campaigning before the first round and the presidential election in Se Senegal, two rounds, bit. If he does respect the decision, he needs to be out by April 2nd.
Thank you so much. Clovis Casley will be uh, keeping an eye on that situation as it unfolds in Senegal with you.